On today's video, Shirley is going to show you how to make a Ponyo Chirbo streamer. Here at the Ribbon Retreat, we have the perfect ribbon to make these cute streamers. We have two and a quarter inch polka dots. To add a little dazzle, we have our glitter ribbon, and not to mention our sports ribbon and super cute resins. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and have fun watching. The first step is choosing your ribbon. You can have as many ribbons as you'd like in any size that you'd like. In this video, we'll be using five different ribbons. I'm using a two and a quarter inch black and white polka dot, one and a half inch preppy stripe, seven eighths inch soccer print, and three eighths inch matching blue grow green and three eighths inch black white striped ribbon. And then you want to cut your ribbon as long or short as you like. In this video, I'm cutting these ribbons to 20 inches, and you can also vary the lengths of your ribbon in your ponyo. You can also cut the ends of the ribbon in different cuts, like a V cut or a slanted cut. So, for example, in this soccer print, I did a V cut, and then in the 3 8 ribbons, I did a slanted cut. So take your ribbon and then fold it in half, and just squeeze the end so you can make a crease so we know where the middle of the ribbon is. And then just go ahead and do that with all of your ribbon. And then now we're gonna put the ribbon on the needle and we're gonna wanna layer them from largest to smallest. So starting with the largest one, this is my two and a quarter inch. You're gonna stick the needle through the center. So stick it in the crease in the middle of the crease and then get the next largest and stick it in the crease in the middle. Now that you're at this point and you have all the ribbons on your needle, we're just gonna pull the needle through and then now we're going to fold it together and do an accordion fold. So pull your thread around and start pulling on it so it pulls the that ribbon and pull it down from below too. And then you just kind of want to get an accordion fold and what that is is just a bunch of different folds like an accordion. And then once you've got that, we're just going to go around with our thread tightening as you go. You just go around and around until uh, it doesn't give you any more give. Okay, and then when it doesn't give you any more give, just take it to the back. And then just take a couple stitches, and we're not gonna tie it off. Okay, you take your ponyo, and we're gonna place it right behind the ribbons. And then the needle and the thread go through the ponyo and around both the ribbon and the ponyo and tighten it just to make sure that there's no give and it's tight and secure. When you're done, just take a couple stitches into the ponyo and then we're going to cut a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon and make sure to seal the ends. This piece is two and a quarter inches long, and you can make yours smaller or larger depending on your ponyo. So we're gonna wrap this piece of ribbon around our ponyo. And so you're gonna take your hot glue and place a dab of hot glue on the back. And then take your ribbon piece and put it on. And then we're gonna wrap it around. and then hot glue it to the back. So add another dab of hot glue, and then bring that ribbon over and secure. And then you can also do um, a knotted center. And so to do that, you would just basically do the same technique, just make sure you have a knot in the ribbon first. And you can check out our how to make a knotted center video if you need more help with that. Now I did the ribbon flat so I could put a resin on and so to put the resin on all you have to do is just take your resin and I've got this cute soccer resin from the ribbon retreat. 
and this ponio is all done and it is all ready to play some soccer. Ponios are great for all kinds of sports and holidays and they are so easy that even the girls wearing these can help make them. So be sure to check out theribbonretreat.com for a huge selection of ribbons at awesome prices and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a new video tutorial each week. Thank you for watching.